Welcome to the Sun Parlor Coffee House Sessions. I'm Jan Hall from Folk Roots Radio. Broomsticks and Hammers are a folk rock band from London, Ontario, with a sound that crosses from folk to rock to country and even dips into jazz and blues. Winners of the 2016 Folk Roots Jack Richardson London Music Award, they're continuing to develop their music and their fan base as they play to audiences across southwestern Ontario and beyond. Broomsticks and Hammers released their second album, Mirrorbox, in 2017. There are special guests in the studio today, and they're coming up right now. Enjoy. This is Svetlana. I wrote this song uh, as a fairy tale, and it turned out to be a song about Stalin's daughter. Tells me to come up and sit down Discussions over chocolates and tea Reveals that she's been waiting for far too long In this lonely room when these four walls To closing all around Well, a smile says she's looking for someone with a ball To bust her out and paint the town But her old man, he keeps watch over the tower He kept her there your hair If you're looking for the savior Well, hell, I would be looking here Cause your old man He don't like the young dogs Coming round So uh, this song is about Gina, and uh, Gina I met at a Tim Hortons. She was transgender, and 
I was so taken aback by her bravery and just her willingness to be so open with me that every word or every word she gave me was like a little piece of gold. So I just took all those little pieces of gold and spun them into Gina. says to me, if you can't be perfect then you might as well be interesting. Gina says to me, over my coffee, I like the name of your band, why don't you write a song about me? She's the queen of coffee. She's the queen of coffee. She's the queen of coffee. says to me she always starts off on the wrong foot but once she gets the time maybe then she'll come calling The first gig we ever played, I I didn't care if we made any money. All I wanted was for somebody to dance, and that would that was success to me. So lo and behold, when we get to the gig and we start playing, and up gets this 85-year-old lady, and she's known to the community, and she comes to the bar. She doesn't drink. She just comes to dance and listen to local music. It's really fantastic. And... When she was finished dancing, I just thought, I need to get her name. And somebody yelled out, oh, that's Kathleen. And I said, Kathleen is a dream. So the song actually came from, from that quote. Like the morning star Face Incomplete Burning in my heart So 
sweet Well I'm not the man I think she needs She's in my dream Sways back and forth Keeping rhythm with the time Cause I'm a man Of the great divide She's in my dream I've sold her my soul Slave to her body And tied to her flow Will I with her and die If she were to let go She's in my dream Her cat That's Broomsticks and Hammers live in the Quantum Sound Production Studio in Kingsville for the Sun Parlor Coffee House Sessions. And three members of the band are joining us just now. It's great to have you guys in the studio. Thank you, Dan. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having us. I always like to start the interview by talking about how you got together. Now, as I understand it, Broomsticks and Hammers is actually a seven-piece band, although there was only four of you playing today, and I think you've been together since 2013? That, that's right, yeah. yeah. We started, uh, Dave and I started it as a little project. I had written some songs, and I was uh, 
listening to a, a, an artist from uh, Vancouver at the time. So I had amassed all these songs that I was just playing by myself, and I, I met up with Dave, and I said, I've written a few songs I want you to try and play bass on. So he invited me over for a Friday night, and it's been that way ever since. <laughs> Mirrorbox, which is your latest album, mentioned it came out in 2017. This feels like this is Broomsticks and Hammers really coming together as a band. Are you pretty happy with the, the way this one turned out? Yeah, I would say that this is probably more representative of the music that I, I wanted it to sound like. Um, it's got a lot of band feel and uh, there's a lot of Canadiana in it. Um, I really, I, I like the first album wasn't, that's entirely stuff that I've written on, on the second album. And, and I've had these guys, fortunate to have these guys contribute what they do, and they, what they do beautifully to that album and to that work. So I kind of look at that as a co-written piece with, that was, that was an actual band written album. So you basically come up with the ideas. I mean, you craft the the basic song, and then you have that bound arrangements yeah. coming together to, to create the final version. Yeah, I always kind of tell them, I always describe it as to people as, I, I bring them a skeleton, and then they flesh it, and it turns out Yeah, and that lovely. was very much one of the things that was attractive to me when they asked if I'd be interested in playing, because like, having liked Bill's songs uh, as a fan, and then kind of having the opportunity and they said you know it's not just I said well I don't know if I can cop all the fiddle parts and things like that and it was no no bring your thing to it and one of the things that I really enjoy doing is arranging um, and orchestrating. So tell us a little bit about the live show we mentioned that you can be a seven piece you're a four piece with us today Mm -hmm. Uh, tell us a little bit about the live show what people can expect when they come to a Broomsticks and Hammers gig. Oh, geez. <laughs> what do they expect? <laughs> well, Bill will tell lots of stories, even if we have to say, hey, yep. enough, tell move them on. An- tell them another story. <laughs> 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 and then, enough, let's move yep, on enough, to the next enough. song. Um, what you'll get with the seven piece band is kind of a big, huge sonic texture. So we'll have um, uh, Hammond B3 uh, organ parts and electric piano and things like that, and thickened with mandolin and acoustic guitars if you see the full. If you see the full band, um, so it's quite an imposing, um, it's quite an imposing kind of visual spectacle when you've got all of us up there. Um, you know, we're in our mid 40s so we don't jump around or wear spandex or anything like that. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. So the budgets aren't there quite yet, but um, yeah, we're looking know. at you, Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> That's prerequisite for any other new members that yeah. you might hire. But um, you know, it's quite a, it's you know, it's a, it's a storytelling. It's it's a lot of sonic texture. Um, We'll certainly, you know, once we're given, you know, an hour, an hour and a half to kind of stretch out the songs, we'll kind of expand a little bit, we'll jam a little bit more. Um, and that kind of holds over when we play as a, as a four or five piece too. We try to try to keep that spirit alive and, and you know, it's maybe a little more nimble when we've got uh, the fewer members. And we've been right down to trio and duo. And each one is kind of a just, again, I kind of think mm-hmm. of it like the way we arrange the songs. It's another mm-hmm. way to treat mm-hmm. the material. It's mm-hmm. another way to kind of service the lyrics and, and yeah. see what we can do with the songs. We, we picked the, the songs today. We picked were, were songs that we thought were good ones for as a four piece. You've been building a great reputation. I'm the start of the show, I mentioned the fact that you had picked up a Jack Richardson London Music Award uh, for F- Folk Roots Band of the Year. I know you were nominated uh, for this last go around. Uh, you've played Home County, you've played uh, the Canterbury Folk Festival down in, in Ingersoll. Are you pretty happy with the way things are developing as far as the band is concerned? I'd say so. Yeah, I'm pretty yes. happy with it. Uh, we, you know, like Paul said, we're we're older so we don't have really the time to to be sitting at bars until 12 o'clock to play and you know so so it's all mat- matinee shows yeah well <laughs> yeah, it should be bring your yeah. zimmer frame <laughs> but uh you know it's we've been really fortunate that the festivals have responded really well to us um We've had a lot of support through uh, Darren Addison, who uh, who runs the the Home oh. County Festival, and uh, yeah, no, we we uh, we're quite happy with with the way it's, 
what is the future going to bring? And obviously, you, I imagine you probably writing songs uh, all the time. That's yeah. I, you well, like to do. I try to. I would like to write more than I do, but I'm also I don't like forcing a song. So a song can take six months or it can take twenty minutes. You know, it just depends on. Am, can I get the right lyric? Can I get the right melody? You know, so. And then we can spend months and months, and then we scrutinizing said, just. And how then we Paul, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I hand it off to Paul, yeah, and he says, it. "All right, we're going to change a bridge. it." <laughs> <laughs> right bridge. If people want to learn more about your music, how can they do that? Oh, they can go uh, visit our website uh, broomsticksandhammers.com, or they can go to our band uh, campsite broomsticksandhammers. Uh, dot bandcamp. Dot com. Band, yep. Yeah. Facebook. Oh, yeah. Facebook. All the Instagram, usual places. Which you'll all find at broomsticksandhammers.com. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you can also buy the album and mm-hmm. find the iTunes links and things like that. It's been great to have you join us. Before we go to our final song, though, I've got to ask you about the coffee. Mm. So let's bring the Ooh. coffee over because the neat thing about, uh, I don't know if I should be saying this, but uh, as a DJ, it's actually kind of nice that actually not just artists send you their music. But they also send you their coffee as well, <laughs> which the first time anyone's actually sent me a coffee to say, hey, maybe you might like our music, make some coffee and, and then put the disc on. Have so tell us a little bit enjoy, about the yeah. coffee. Uh, the, the coffee is uh, roasted by a really good friend of ours, uh, Patrick. And uh, we, we picked this particular blend based on the song Gina, which is on the, the album Mirror Box. Um, and, uh, We've included a quote from the lyric of the song, uh, and it's, um, if you can't be perfect, then you might as well be interesting. Uh, This coffee is definitely interesting. It's a very bold flavor. Uh, It... uh, it's it's for coffee drinkers and uh, it's, it's good coffee. Yeah, it's just uh, it was a, a way for us to help fund our uh, second album. Uh, you know, we we sell T-shirts, we sell uh, CDs and, and vinyl records, uh, but with the coffee, it's a repeat business, so we yeah. can generate some more revenue to uh, to produce more albums. It's it's great. I have to say, it's the first time anyone's ever sent me coffee to entice me. It to listen like to the music, but it's good end music. Up with a ton yeah. of coffee yeah. coming, yeah. Are be did you enjoy it? <laughs> I did oh, enjoy it. Fabulous coffee, and certainly another reason to head to a Broomsticks and a Hammers gig. Now, it's been great to have you join us. We still have time for one more song. What are you going to play for us? We're going to play uh, "Passing Cars," I believe. Okay, tell us a little bit about this song. Now, "Passing Cars" is not on the the Mirrorbox album. So. No, it's it's on the first album. Um, there was always talk with the first album that, you know, the songs that we didn't feel were were right, that we would eventually revisit them, which is why there's two of the songs off of that on there. Um, so this was one of the songs that I would like to revisit. So Paul actually rearranged the song on the fly one night, and, and we were hoping that uh, that'll be on the next album. And tell us a little bit about what this song's about. So this song, um, my wife and I went through uh, an arc, which is uh, of the way school boards close schools. And they were closing a particular school, but at the last moment they decided to change it. And my wife had fought and fought, and she felt like, because she was the only person fighting, she felt that she was, she was going to uh, wear the school closing. And she'd come home crying, and I said, you know what, if we could go down to the road, we could dance while the cars drive by, and, and it'd be like twinkling lights. And, and I said, the next, next time, we'll be there to hold you up. You know, they'll be the ones that come home crying next time. <laughs> so I wrote that song immediately after, after her coming home, and... And it just kind of stuck with the band. Broomsticks and Hammers with Passing Cars live for the Sun Parlor Coffee House Sessions. And thanks again for coming in on the Thank wonderful you. coffee. Yeah. Thank thanks, Jim. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Jim.
child in the summertime and an old man in the fall was quiet in the winter cause I was dead to the world but when the springtime comes around you know I'll make her my girl we'll dance under the stars twinkling from the headlights of the passing cars and we'll dance under the stars twinkling from the headlights of the passing car I had been wounded and torn Consumed in the flames with the promise to be reborn I was lifted by the ones who really are the ones I was lifted by the ones who really are the ones Oh, we'll dance under the stars Twinkling from the headlights of the passing cars And we'll dance under the stars Twinkling from the headlights of the passing cars. Dance under the stars. Twinkling from the headlights of the passing cars And we'll dance under the stars Twinkling from the headlights of the passing cars